Entrez-vous Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Well, for a guy who just barely escaped a terrible accident, you're in an incredibly good mood. Of course, of course I am. I was lucky. If you're gonna be in an accident, that's the best way to be, don't you agree? But then I've always been a lucky guy. I just met you, Miss Drew. Do you really think it was just an accident? I see Maddie's been talking to you about me. Of course it was just an accident. Things like this just happen. Can you think of anyone with a motive to send you these death threats? I can think of millions. All those jealous husbands and boyfriends of the women who send me marriage proposals, <laughs> cookies, and other notes d'amour. Why haven't you gone to the police with these threats? Oh, please. If a public figure like me went to the police every time someone sent them a nasty gram, the donut shops would lose their best customers. Listen, I need to take care of something, but uh, feel free to stick around. Will you do me a favor, though? Stay beautiful.
Are you a visitor? According to the policy's memo dated July 14th, 1954, no one is permitted in the prop room, except for those people permitted in the prop room. You may want to talk to the director, Lillian Weiss, if you want to become permitted. She likes to do all of the hiring around here. Good day, my dear. May I help you? Yes, hi. I'm a friend of Maddie's, and I'm... Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I understand, but now that the studio is closed to visitors, I'm at a dead end. There's got to be a way to get you back in the studio. Whoever's leaving these threats for Rick also has access to the studio. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. That sounds great, but what should I say if they ask about you and me? Just tell them you're an aspiring actress who I've taken under my wing. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. That'd be great. Thanks, Maddie. Well, I'm sure you've got to rehearse for tomorrow. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Good luck. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm in Sweet 101. Come in. Come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. 
You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? Maddie spoke highly of your abilities, and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, I was. But I must confess that the man has no talent. Were it not for his good looks and charm, he'd never have gotten to where he is now. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hi, I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Thank you and uh, good luck. <laughs> 